friends. Okay, let's get this ready. We are making dinner. It's actually a new recipe and it is oh so good. So if you're joining me today on this beautiful cold Thursday, let me know what is for dinner tonight. Let's see if I can get this set up for you guys real quick on Facebook. If you're joining me on Facebook and you want today's recipe, if you just say, hey, can I get that recipe? Or Carrie, you're doing awesome today. Or no, I'm just kidding. You um, Anyway, you just say something below, then Facebook will send it to you via Facebook Messenger. And if you're an Instagrammer, then the link, I will add it to my stories as soon as we're done with this live. Okay, so today, friends, it's a good day to be making dinner thanks to my crock pot. We're doing a brand new recipe called crock pot spaghetti casserole. So it's like a baked, it's basically like a baked spaghetti, but it's in your crock pot. So one dish to clean. That's all you really need to know. <laughs> one dish to clean and you're golden, right? Okay, let me know where you're from and what's for dinner tonight. Let's see, so far we have Jeannie on here from Alabama, Tina from Nebraska. They're having spaghetti for dinner. Jackie um, is doing the crock pot chicken soup. Yum, yum. Several of you are on here, yay. Okay, so crock pot baked chicken casserole, basically, oh, not chicken, spaghetti casserole. So it's basically spaghetti, but the noodles are all mixed in and you're topping it with mozzarella and Parmesan cheese and letting it get all bubbly and delicious and you're scooping it out and you're enjoying it and everybody's happy. Kid friendly recipe today. Woo! Right? So let's see. If you have children and picky eaters, today on the Eat on a Dime show, you're going to love today's recipe. So the first thing for this crock pot, my crock pot's a little wobbly. One of the little thingies fell off on the bottom. The first thing is inside my crock pot for this crock pot spaghetti casserole is beef. Okay, so I have two pounds of ground beef browned up thanks to my Ninja Slow Cooker. It's all in one pot. Now, if you do not have a fancy crock pot like this, that's okay. You technically don't have to brown your meat. And I'll explain why, okay? Okay, so, oh, oh, here's my recipe. I'm like, where'd my recipe go, friends? Let me get out my cutting board. We're gonna throw in a half an onion. I can actually find stuff. Now that I um, went through all my cabinets when we painted some cabinets. Let's get all. So I'm going to throw in a half an onion. Like literally, friends, this recipe is so good. And you can change it up a little bit to make it your own. For example, you could throw in some pepperonis. You could do half sausage. I did two pounds of ground beef. If you do the sausage, you will want to brown it and drain it. I have extra extra lean ground beef, so that's why I don't need to drain it. There's like no grease in here at all. Let's turn that off. We'll turn it on the slow cooker. Did you start? There we go. Okay. Whoa. Get my onion chopped. Okay, so what I was saying is you can jazz this up and make it your own. You could throw in the sausage. Let me know below what you would do in this spaghetti casserole to make it your own. You could take a zucchini and shred it and throw it in there. Actually, you know what, friends? I really like that idea. Hold on. Hold on, friends. Don't leave me. Forgot I had a zucchini, friends, so I'm going to chop it up and throw it in there as well. Remember, you take a recipe and you don't change the main, you know, the main idea, the amount of liquids and all the things. Actually, if I was really smart, I would shred this in my little food chopper, but I'm not smart today. So I'm just dicing up some zucchini, 
but I'm not changing the whole idea. I'm not going to change the seasonings. I'm not going to change how much tomatoes in there. You know, I'm not going to change that. So I'm still going to have, we know the recipe will turn out. Okay. Does that make sense? Am I making sense to you friends, guys? Yeah. Ooh, mushroom. She would add mushroom with, Megan would add mushroom with the onions. That's a great idea. Okay. Turkey instead of beef. That's a great idea. Fun fact, did you know ground turkey is often cheaper than ground beef? But did you know that if you cook ground turkey with beef, it takes on the flavor of the beef? So you could do, if you want to save a little money but still have that delicious beefy flavor, do one pound of ground turkey and one pound of ground beef. Didn't know you were going to get a little fun tip today, did you? Here on the Eating on a Dime show, we're just full of all kinds of information. <laughs> okay. We got some great ideas. Some people said, um, okay, sorry. People are talking. The shredder for the zucchini. Yes. Using a shredder or a mini food processor will help hide the zucchini from your friends, your kids, <laughs> your friends, <laughs> or if you have picky friends. But you can also peel it, and that will help because when zucchini cooks up, it's going to be, like, it's not going to have this delicious crunch. It's going to be super soft and mushy. It's going to go right into the sauce. And when my kids see the little green pieces, I tell them it's seasoning. Don't tell them my secret. Okay, so let's see what it looks like so far. I think a zucchini went down my shirt sleeve. Not kidding. <laughs> there you go. Okay, easy peasy. Now we're gonna throw in our seasonings. We need some minced garlic, of course, right, friends? Can't have a good Italian recipe without some minced garlic, which I need to get some more of. Remember, the recipe is right below the video if you would like it. Okay, um, then we're going to throw in some Italian seasoning. Sprinkle that in. Then, of course, salt and pepper. I am doing pink Himalayan salt, but you do you, boo. Pepper, pepper, where'd you go? Oh, it's right here. I keep thinking this, they have the same color list. I keep thinking my pepper and my Italian seasonings are the same. You do not have to have garlic. You can leave the garlic out. It'll still be really, really good for those of you who are asking that question. Then I'm going to throw in a cup of broth. Now, the great thing about this recipe is that you're, um, you're cooking the spaghetti inside the pot as well. So it's a one pot dinner, if that makes sense. Now we're going to throw in our canned tomatoes. So we're making our own sauce. Um, the recipe, original recipe calls for crushed tomatoes, but I didn't have crushed tomatoes, so I am using tomato sauce. Um, if you didn't get the recipe link, it's just right below the video. You can just go click on it and grab it right now. If you can't see it while we're on the live, just click on my face and then the link will pop up. Okay. This should be working. Let's just check. I guess it's not. For some reason, the messaging isn't working. Oh, there you go. Some people, it's working. Okay. Let's go back so I can see the comments. What did I? Oh, I put some broth in there before the tomatoes. The reason is you want it to be saucy because we're dumping in uncooked spaghetti. Okay, sorry, I'm looking. No, you're not. It's not funny. You're good. You, it wouldn't affect it too much. I just love garlic, but you do not have to have garlic in this recipe. That was diced tomatoes, and I'm doing another can of tomato sauce. Or you just follow the original recipe. Now, when you click on the link, you can print out the recipe, which is exactly what I'm using on the live. I am not going by memory. I am not some amazing cook. I'm just making a kid friendly, husband approved dinner. 
so good, so versatile. So think about it, make the recipe just as it is today. And then next week you can make the same recipe, but jazz it up differently. Throw in those mushrooms, try it with the sausage and see how your family likes it, okay? So this is how it looks. Uh, that's all I need in this recipe right now, okay? So I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do, see? It's pretty soupy. We're gonna cover it, we're gonna cook on high. It says low, but I'm gonna do it on high because it's you know 1.30 here in Oklahoma and we gotta eat before 10. So I'm gonna cover it and cook on high and then about 30 minutes until, or 30 minutes before we're ready to eat, I'm going to take a box of spaghetti and I'm gonna break it into thirds and dump it in and mix it in, put the lid back on and let it sit until the noodles are soft. Now the noodles will absorb some of that moisture um, so it won't be as soupy. And then once the noodles are done, I'm gonna top it with mozzarella cheese, and Parmesan cheese, put the lid on for like two minutes, let it get all nice and bubbly and melted, and then done. Serve it with some garlic bread and side salad, and you just made friends with your entire family. <laughs> Was the beef browned? Kathy, I did brown the beef. You do not have to brown the beef in this recipe if you are using a extra lean beef. So literally, friends, all I'm dirtying up is a cutting board, a knife, and this. But everything can go in the um, the refrigerator. <laughs> everything can go in the dishwasher, and I'll hand wash this. When I say I, I mean my husband. <laughs> Winning. So a one dish dinner. Serve it with some garlic bread. Serve it with a um, what's it called? A side salad, and dinner's done. Kid friendly. This is perfect to feed a crowd. Perfect to feed a crowd. Uh, the spaghetti, okay, Pam said the spaghetti won't be too soft, will it? That's why we don't add it until right before you're ready to eat. I like to throw it in about 30, 20 minutes before so that way I can keep checking it because your crock pot is going to cook differently than mine. But usually I like my spaghetti a little firmer, so I only need about 10 minutes in there because I want it nice and firm, so especially so it'll hold up in my leftovers. Um, ooh, antelope meat or deer meat, that's a great idea. Someone said, uh, Diana said they use those crock pot liners. That's great. How did I have, okay, Ginger says, how did you brown the hamburger meat in your cooker? It's this Ninja. This Ninja slow cooker has an option to do a stove top where you can brown your beef. It's pretty cool. That's why I like this Ninja slow cooker. Um, if you're joining it, oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I can't say your name, I'm sorry but it's gonna be so good and this is so easy. I want everybody to try to make it this weekend or tonight if you haven't, if you don't have dinner plans, throw this in. This will be on your weekly rotation. You could throw in um, pepperonis on another night to make it different, make it a pizza, pasta, bake, yes, please. Throw in the ground sausage, throw in the turkey, throw in some green peppers. So there you go, okay. We're out of here, friends, I hope that we inspired you to make something easy, um, but super delicious for your family tonight. I've got to spend three minutes cleaning up, um, but make sure you head on over to the recipe link on eatingonadime.com to get this recipe, crock pot spaghetti casserole. If you do make it, head on over to our Facebook group, Eating on a Dime Recipes, post a picture in there, or on Instagram, post a picture and tag me, because when you tag me, I will share it. So that way you will get featured on our Eating on a Dime Instagram. You guys have a great Thursday. I will see you next time. Bye.